Good morning, good morning, my beautiful people. It's your boy Jamal with Leveled Up Credit Services, aka the Credit Protector. My goal is always for us to live a debt free, interest free lifestyle. Today, I wanted to talk about the uh, history of Fair Isaac Corporation, okay? Um, it's actually not a very old company at all. As much as we focus on this three-digit score and people are learning all the tips and tricks and hacks to reach an 850, I think it's very important to understand just how new this score is, okay? The FICO score, the very first one, right now there are over 50 different FICO scores, but the very first FICO score was released in 1956. Can y'all believe that? 1956, that's just a few years before the Civil Rights Movement. And so that just makes me think like, wow, what were we doing before the score, right? But I'll make another video on that at another time, okay? But a Fair Isaac Corporation was actually created by a partnership between two gentlemen. There was uh, Bill Fair and Earl Isaac, right? A lot of these companies are always somebody's last name, right? Down in Bradstreet, Burberry, Louis Vuitton, etc. But going back, so what would happen before they had the the FICO score, you would have all of these companies all over the country, small towns, major cities, you know, nationwide companies, basically gathering data about us, the consumer. Who's paying their bills? Who's not paying their bills? Who is uh, an adulterer, right? Who has, who has children out of wedlock? They would collect all kinds of information about us and they would keep it local. So if a merchant wanted to loan out or give a line of credit to a consumer, they were they would reach out to these consumer reporting agencies and basically the consumer reporting agency would tell them about that consumer. And with that, the lender would determine whether or not this is a person that they want to do business with, okay? After a while, it became very um, cumbersome to constantly call these different consumer reporting agencies to get information about the consumer so that they can make an informed decision on whether or not they're going to lend them money. So uh, Bill Fair and Earl Isaac basically partnered together to come up with the algorithm, AKA a math formula, and gave numeric values to these uh, different components of a person's credit profile, okay? You probably already know what those five things are, but I'll go over them with you uh, right now, okay? So you have your payment history, you have your amounts owed, you have the age of your credit, you have the credit mix, and then you have a number of new accounts. These are the five components that they basically break everything in your credit profile is gonna fall into these five categories. Using these five categories, they'll give a numerical value and then produce the FICO score. Now, the FICO one just came out in 1956. And since then, they constantly change and develop and create new iterations of the score to keep up with the trends of society. And so that's why you have now we're at the FICO 10, which um, actually looks back at how you've been using your credit for the past two years. That's going to be a major game changer. A lot of people say that um, on average, the average person may lose 40 points once the FICO 10 score is adopted uh, by more lenders. But that's brief short history of the FICO score, aka Fair Isaac Corporation. I hope this helped. I hope this gave you some insight. Like, leave a comment, subscribe if you thought this was some valuable information. Y'all have a great one, all right?